against it. There's a censure resolution that's been introduced against it. What he's done and admitted to the court worthy of censure? Not in my view. Ever since Democrat Jamal Bowman pulled that fire alarm to obstruct congressional proceedings, a crime that many peaceful J6 protesters were charged with, the usual suspects have been circling the wagons to ensure that Jamal Bowman is not held to his own standards. We expect that from our corrupt state media and their Democrat Party cohorts, but not the Capitol Police. If you're one of the few out there who think the Capitol Police have any integrity, then you might want to see this. But first, with worldwide conflict looking more imminent every day, it's time to prepare. My Patriot Supply, the largest preparedness company in the country, is dropping the price of their top selling three month emergency food kit. Get a delicious variety of breakfasts, lunches, dinners, and more for $200 off. Secure your supply of this three month emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. Visit preparewithdronetech.com to save $200 on your food security. Okay, so. Back in September, Democrat Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm just before a vote to avert a partial government shutdown. We were shown pictures of Jamal Bowman pulling the fire alarm, and we were told that he did it on accident in frustration as he hurried to make the vote. We were told that the doors had signs on them explaining how they're open, but due to some kind of shadowy conspiracy by Republicans, they were removed. The doors that are normally open so that he could get to the chambers to read were somehow miraculously closed. How did that happen? Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> leading to Bowman, a former middle school principal, to pull the fire alarm. Then last week, we find out that Bowman's getting a slap on the wrist and being charged with a misdemeanor. And later that day, Bowman was doing interviews where he was bragging that he cut a deal where the charges would be expunged from his record. You know, pay the fine, three months from now it'll be dismissed and I'll be able to just continue to serve my district. You mean it'll be dismissed, like it'll be expunged from your record? I believe so, yes. That's the deal? Yes, yeah. With Capitol Police? Uh, ACD, the, the, the DCAG. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Except the full video got released on the same day, and we all saw Bowman walk with specific purpose to the door, remove the signs, and clearly pulled the fire alarm on purpose. While reading a CBS News article on the story, which seems to have been out before the video was released, I noticed that the Capitol Police appeared to be lying about what we clearly see in the video. First, I love how this paragraph starts. Congressman Bowman was treated like anyone else who violates the law in the District of Columbia. Based on the evidence, presented by the Capitol Police, we charge the only crime that we have jurisdiction to prosecute. Except the Capitol Police are lying about what Bowman did, which they would never do for you. In an affidavit for an arrest warrant, a Capitol Police officer investigating the incident said there were three signs near or on two doors that said, quote, emergency exit only. Kind of weird for these journalists not to mention that officer's name, and I'll come back to that. When Bowman tried opening the doors and failed, he then turned to the fire alarm on the wall that had a warning and triggered it. Immediately afterwards, the defendant turned to his left away from the exit doors. Yes, the sworn affidavit from this Capitol Police officer states that Bowman tried opening the doors and failed. Not only did he not attempt to open doors, he didn't even attempt to open door. Err, wait a minute. Now that I'm looking at this video over and over again and zooming in, it's become pretty clear to me that he did try to open the door and knock the sign off in the process. So yeah, I was wrong. After working on this entire video, I didn't want to just toss it out. So I figured might as well just present what I found and that's Bowman actually trying to open the doors and knocking the signs off. Which means the Capitol Police officer wasn't lying. I still think Bowman intentionally pulled that alarm. He undeniably lied about it. And it still seems like the Capitol Police and the media are both doing damage control for Bowman. I admit when I'm wrong and there you go. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I appreciate you watching and I hope you keep coming back.